the book that Ed was just talking about, my Iran book, is a very, very much a New York book. And this is actually the first time that I talk publicly uh, about the book. And I'm very, very happy that it is in New York State Writers uh, Institute that I uh, get to talk about it. Uh, number one, because it is very much a New York book. It begins with New York. It ends with New York. Uh, it is very conscious of the fact that it is ri uh, written by a, a New Yorker. Uh, and also, uh, because as I, as I also s uh, told Ed, it is a writer's uh, book. It is not a book that uh, begins as most of this book, unfortunately, starts boring history without really any appeal, any seduction, any, any attempt to uh, lure you into the book in a way uh, that hopefully will be rewarding in more than uh, uh, the sense that obviously as responsible citizens, we ought to know about any number of things, including about contemporary politics and uh, so forth. My challenge in writing that book uh, was in fact not to take my readers for granted, not to think that my readers uh, are coming to the book with a sense of uh, social, political, moral responsibility to get to know about the country that is very much uh, in the news and sort of we feel that we have to know about this. That was not my, uh, my assumption. I wanted to, uh, uh, to seduce my readers and keep them going. Uh, for reasons that is not immediately political. Uh, so whatever historical, political, social, cultural, etc., things that I uh, felt obligated I need to tell my readers come sideways, come diagonally. Uh, so by the time that uh, you're done with the book, uh, uh, you don't know how it is that you ended up knowing so much. I mean, I. Uh, a challenge at the very uh, b beginning. I said, I'm going to do all of these things, uh, but I promise by the end of the book you will know more about Iran than the State Department and Pentagon and, <laughs> and uh, all the think tanks and, and the Islamic Republic's Ministry of Culture uh, uh, put together. Uh, uh, and I hope that I have delivered. Uh, on but uh, but when, you, when you open the bo book and you read about my reminiscing about the river in Karun in Ahvaz where I grew up, you will wonder what, it, what in the world is he up to. Uh, and it is that sense of what in the world is he up to that I hope to sus have sustained throughout the book. Uh, uh, it, it, so in that sense, it, it is a writer's book. It is a book that the writer in me, not uh, just the scholar, uh, had been hoping to write all my life. It is, of course, about Iran, but it's not just about Iran. It's as much about the United States as it is about Iran. It is as much about New York as it is about uh, Tehran. Uh, it is full of more than, it is a book that as I told Ed, I felt that I, uh, that I owe my host country. That this is a gift in return to what uh, my host country has given to me. Uh, more than anything else, uh, the peace of mind. Uh, I entirely oppose the notion of exile and diaspora and all of these categories that disenfranchise you. I am not in diaspora. I'm not in exile. In fact, if I go back to Iran, I will be in exile. I can't keep my mouth shut. It doesn't mean that I have an easy time in New York. I'm, but in New York, they hit me, I hit back. You know, it's fair. Uh, so at least I'm not put in jail, but as I'm not sure if I go back in Iran, I'm, uh, I'm as free as I am to say.